Good morning. We will pay attention to the notes that will accompany the balance sheet at the end of the year. It's always important to look at the financial year and determine exactly from which month to which month the year will go. The trial balance is at the end of June and they say it's for the year ended 30 June 2016. So this financial year will be from 1 July 2015 to 30 June 2016. <coughs> when we do the income statement, we will only look at the nominal accounts because income and expenses are taken to the income statement to determine the profit for the year. When we do the notes to the balance sheet or we complete the balance sheet, we will only look at the balance sheet accounts. The first note that I will complete will be for property, plant and equipment or fixed assets. So we will look at the equipment is 24000 and vehicles is 63,900. In the note for fixed assets, I will indicate that the equipment is 24,000, the vehicles is 63,900. I will add it together to see what is the total amount. So my total fixed assets is 87,900 and I will show in the balance sheet 87,900. Because we don't have a fixed deposit in this exercise, the non-current assets total amount will also be 87,900. The next note will be for trade and other receivables. Therefore, we will use the amount for debtors control. That is the people who owe money to the business that will pay the money in the future that will cause an inflow of money to the business. 3,900. Trade and other receivable note, I will indicate that the debtors control is 3,900, so the total debtors, trade and other receivables will be 3,900. Inventory is 14,300. In the balance sheet under current assets, the inventory 14,300. The following note will be for cash and cash equivalents. So that's the money in the bank, petty cash, or cash float that's available in the door. The amount in the bank is 1,600. The amount in petty cash is 400. So the total amount for cash and cash equivalents will be 2,000 rand. Then we will add the total current assets together to see what is our total amount and that will give us 20,200. So the purpose of the notes is where we add more than one figure we will show it in the note so that we can show where did we get this information from that we record in the balance sheet. So my first note for fix Assets or tangible assets will be note number one. Trade and other receivables will be note number two. We will add up the non-current assets and the current assets to determine the total assets. The difference between non-current assets and current assets is the non-current assets will remain the same for at least 12 months in the future. Current assets will change every day. Our loan is 20,000, so that will be a non-current liability. We'll show under equity and liabilities that we owe the 20,000 and because it's a long-term loan, 
it, we will owe that for more than 12 months in the future. So my total non-current liabilities are 20,000. The creditor's control amount is 7,200. Creditor's control will be recorded under trade and other payables because it's money that we owe to other businesses that supply goods to our business on credit that will cause an outflow of money in the future. Therefore, we will show under current liability 7,200 and this will be note number four. We will now go and look at the owner's equity. The capital amount, according to the trial balance, is 79,980. The profit for the year is 3,720. And the drawings is 2,800. The profit will be added to the capital amount <coughs> because the owner provided the capital to start this business to make a profit. So he's entitled to the profit. The drawings is deducted to show that he has less money in the business. And if we work out the total, we see that the total amount is 80,900. So I will show my equity as 80,900. And if I add my equity, that is my capital balance indicating capital contribution plus profit less drawings to the non-current liabilities and the current liabilities I will get 108,100. And that amount must be equal to the total assets because we learned that assets equal equity plus liabilities. So the top part of the balance sheet is the assets. The bottom part of the balance sheet is the equity and liabilities. And this equity and liabilities must therefore equal the assets.